USA Football and Riddell invite you to watch this free helmet fitting tutorial. Before you begin, please read and familiarize yourself with the warning labels that come with your new helmet. And remember, a properly fitted helmet is an important first step in player protection. Determining the correct helmet size is the first and most important step when fitting a player into a football helmet. Just as each player has an individual skill or talent, each player will have an individual helmet size in direct proportion to the circumference of the player's head. To get the most accurate circumference measurement, use a soft measuring tape, fixing the tape approximately one inch above the eyebrows. Guide the tape around the player's head, ensuring the tape remains flat and taut against the player's skin and hair. When the tape has traveled completely around the player's head, determine the helmet's size by the number that appears when the orbit is complete. Use an example of a circumference measurement guide, which comes in handy when you're matching a player's circumference measurement to his corresponding helmet size. For the most accurate results, refer to your helmet manufacturer's circumference guide. Before putting on the helmet, make sure that the correct size appears on the helmet size label. After confirming the appropriate size, the player should hold the helmet with the thumbs over the bottom of the jaw pads and the fingers against the exterior shell. Bring the helmet down at a slight angle, with the face pads first touching the temples. For additional leverage, place the index fingers into the ear holes. This should help bring the helmet straight down into position. All helmets feature interior padding, generally positioned at the front, sides, back, and crown of the helmet. These pads are for the comfort and protection of the player and can often be adjusted to improve player fit. Many football helmet models feature air inflation fit systems. The manufacturer will provide a fitting booklet with a step-by-step -step guide to help you with the inflation fitting process. If your helmet doesn't feature an inflation fit system, the manufacturer may provide other fitting tools, pad sizes, or accessories. Please refer to the fitting booklet that accompanies your helmet for detailed fitting procedures. Regardless of your helmet model, there are few goals in achieving a properly fit football helmet. A properly fitted helmet should rest approximately one inch above the player's eyebrows. A player should never wear a helmet that's positioned too low or too high. Follow the manufacturer's instructions if helmet height adjustment is necessary. As a final height check, interlock your hands on top of the helmet and press down on the exterior shell. A properly fit helmet will exert pressure on the crown of the player's head. If, when pressing down, the player feels pressure on his brow, he doesn't have a proper fit. The interior padding at the front, sides, and back of the helmet should give the player's head firm, cushioned support. There should be no room for twisting. The skin of the player's forehead should move with the padding at the front of the helmet. Football helmets usually have adjustable pads at the sides of the player's face and or below the player's ear. These are often referred to generically as jaw pads, but they can come in different shapes and can have important fitting and protective functions. When properly fit, these pads should feel firm against the player's face, jaw, or under the player's ear, depending upon the helmet model. If they look or feel loose, if there's a space between the pad and face, change to a thicker size. If they're too tight, change to a thinner size. These pads are sometimes inflatable as well. Refer to the manufacturer's instructions for changing pad thicknesses or adjusting inflation. If the helmet slides easily over the player's forehead, refer to the manufacturer's instruction to adjust the fit or try a smaller sized helmet. Finally, a snug centered chin strap is essential for proper helmet fit. All helmets come with either a soft or hard cup chin strap. Buckle the chin strap into the snaps located near the helmet's ear holes, making sure the cup is centered and snug over the player's chin. The chin strap is adjustable and can easily be modified to fit the player. If the cup fit is loose, if it's not firmly pressed against the chin, tighten it until it fits properly. With the chin strap buckled, the helmet should feel comfortable and snug. Chin straps are available in multiple sizes to best fit the player's chin. To take off the helmet, 
the lower chin strap attachments must first be unbuckled. Next, the player should place an index finger into the left and right ear holes of the helmet. The player should then press his thumbs into the bottom of the jaw pads. This grip will give the player the necessary leverage to lift the helmet straight up and off his head. Nicks, streaks, and grooves on a helmet's exterior may occur with football contact. Some wear and tear is common. Never allow a player to participate if the player's helmet looks to be cracked or compromised in any way. Remember, no helmet can prevent serious head or neck injuries a player might receive while participating in football. So practice and play sensibly. And as always, teach and utilize proper form and head positioning when participating in football contact. For detailed helmet fitting instruction, refer to your manufacturer's instruction guide. This concludes our helmet fitting tutorial. Good luck this season. Visit usafootball.com for the best resources in coaching and player development.